are in my pocket. Hey, what should go, Jason? Uh... It was the school holidays, and I was playing marbles with Grandpa. Not bad, not bad. But we can make it go even faster. What we need is the right marble. Maybe I'll buy some more today, Grandpa. Oh, I want to come with you. I'll make sure you get some good ones. Like a, a, a shooter, a few peewees, a bumblebee, a couple of rainbows and a spiral corkscrew. Miss Smiley was about to arrive. On some days, Miss Smiley looked after a boy called Troy. And today was one of those days. She was taking me and Troy to Mr Whoops' shop to spend our pocket money. I wonder what Troy will choose. Troy? Yes, this was the day we went to buy a toy for a boy called Troy. You didn't say Miss Smiley was bringing Troy. Troy lives next door and he's always inviting himself around to play. He's very spoiled and he's very rude. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it you! And this. <laughs> but I want to play with it! And this. And he makes Grandpa say... I'd like to teach him some manners. And if I come with you, maybe I can do just that. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! <laughs> Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Not the plane, Grandpa! He can fly off in my plane. Or he could just run for all he's worth. Once Grandpa's got his shrinking cap on, there's no stopping him. And I'm the only person who knows about it. Nobody else is allowed to see him. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. I had no idea where Grandpa could be hiding. Hello, Jason. Hurry up! Oh, I suppose your Grandpa's gone for a little lie down, has he? Come on! I want to go buy a toy! You'll need your jacket, Jason. Troy, wait for us! There was nothing for it. Off we went. Me, Miss Smiley and Troy to Mr Whoops' shop. My favourite place in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop. And here's Miss Smiley's cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Here's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. I wish Grandpa had come with us. Maybe he had. Because, as you know, Grandpa can hide anywhere. <gasps> Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. He drops things. He falls over things. Whoops. He falls off things. Whoops! He even trips over his own feet. Whoops! Every time he knocks something over, he goes... Whoops! <laughs> Show us your bestest, most expensive toy, then. <laughs> I'd found a jar of marbles. I was looking at all the bright, swirly colours and was just trying to remember which ones Grandpa wanted when... A yellow peewee! Grandpa had been hiding in my pocket all the time. And now he was off. <gasps> he loved Mr Whoops' shop. Luckily, Troy and Miss Smiley were busy looking at toys, so they didn't notice Grandpa. He was having a great time, leaping from shelf to shelf. I 
I was really worried that they'd see him any minute. But you know, Grandpa, when he's got an idea, there's no stopping him. Oh, is that you playing, Jason? Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Oh, Jason wants a xylophone. Jason wants a xylophone. No, I don't. I want marbles. Who's been eating my porridge? I grabbed the bear to try to get at Grandpa, but Grandpa had already gone. Oh, Jason wants a teddy. Jason wants a teddy. <laughs> no, I don't. I want marbles. I looked around for Grandpa, and suddenly I saw him. <laughs> Grandpa lost his balance and bumped into a big jigsaw. <laughs> now Mr Whoops was hurt, and Grandpa had disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Smiley took Mr Whoops out the back to see to his head. I went to find Grandpa. But I didn't find him. I found these. Grandpa's clothes. This meant he was running about the shop in his pants. I put the clothes in my pocket. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, I saw him. Grandpa, what are you doing? I've always fancied playing the bagpipes. What's that noise? It's that doll. How does it work? Is it remote controlled? It must have a computer inside it or something. I know, let's have a look under its funny skirt. Hey, watch it, laddie. It can talk! This time, Grandpa had gone too far. Hey, 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 I want the little doll in the skirt. You want what, dear? Uh, he must mean the Scottish doll. Yes, yes, yes! No, not that one. I want the one that talks. Oh, he's got such a lively imagination. No! I want that one, and I want it now! Before I knew it, Grandpa was being wrapped up. I needed a rescue plan, and I needed it fast. And Jason would like a jar of marbles. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'd like a Scottish doll too, please. Copycat! <laughs> Troy had got Grandpa out of his box and was staring at him. Surely Grandpa would keep still and quiet this time. But he didn't. Hello again, laddie. I decided to get my doll out too. Your doll is rubbish. It doesn't do anything. Na, 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 na. Your doll is rubbish. I needed to swap the dolls before Troy took Grandpa home. But how? I want a chocolate milkshake with a double chocolate chip muffin and chocolate sauce. Please. What? You need to learn some manners. I want this, I want that. Tut, tut. Where are your pleases and your thank yous? And you shouldn't be so rude to your wee friend there either. Now, you go over to Miss Smiley and ask nicely and have some fresh orange juice and fruit salad. You eat far too much chocolate. Yes, right. OK. Oh, I did enjoy that. Troy's back was turned. This was my only chance. That's enough, Grandpa. Time to swap you. Oh, no. Oh, yes. You're going back in my pocket where you'll find your clothes. It really does talk. Honest, Miss Smiley. I'm sure it does, dear. No, it even knows my name. Go on, say something. I mean, please say something. Oh, I expect it was Jason having a little joke. He's always putting on funny voices. It, it wasn't Jason. It talked to me. I'm sure it did. Thanks for taking me to the toy shop today, Miss Smiley. It was really kind of you. I was really pleased to get back home. I ran inside ahead of Troy and Miss Smiley and quickly put Grandpa down. He whipped his shrinking cap off and was soon back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. We taught that boy Troy some manners. 
Teamwork, laddie. Aye, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Smart work there, Jason, buying that other doll. Just a minute. And Grandpa opened his treasure chest. It's where he keeps all sorts of things he had when he was a boy. I just remembered I had these. Oh, Grandpa! Hello, Grandpa. Sorry, I can't stay. Troy needs his tea. He's been such a sweet boy today. I wish you'd seen him. Bye! 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 <laughs> <laughs>